What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the Catch and Moments channel. We're back again. The boat build, boat restoration, coming in, getting there. So, today's gonna be nothing too fancy, just um, plugging up some wiring, just bolting up your fuse box, getting it ready for when I do run wiring. It's just a lot easier. I've got some latches or compart access compartments, lids to uh, jigsaw hole in the floor and get those in as well. I ended up picking up a motor That there I was gonna do a, a video alone on it, but it's a Suzuki TD-115 Short story, but I picked up the pod aluminium pod I uh, had a 250 horsepower on it. So strong enough for the job When I picked that up he had that Suzuki Don't get me wrong. It's an old engine, but it might be okay um, he had that on the pallet outside and he said it's been refurbed which could mean good things as well um, it's got new spark plugs and all that in it he just couldn't figure out the wiring on it he had wiring issues he could not get the spark going so ended up picking that up for 50 bucks I said oh why not let's chuck it in the trailer and um, I ended up ordering some wiring and I did get it going today so the tilt works it starts it runs, I sprayed a bit of start your bastard in it just to see um, all uh, spark plugs work. So that there could be the deal, could be the uh, go for this boat, who knows yet. It is an old one I'd like to later on in the future get something a bit nicer, a bit bigger as well. But for now, to get this out on the water, that could do the job. The boat, it's a mess right now. As you see, I've got the carpet in, or cut at least. I'm starting to cut those out, got one. Cutting out the second one, thought I'd take bring out the camera. And then behind the dash there on the other side is um, where the switchboard's gonna be going. So I'll just put your main switch, uh, fuse box, a few other little things just screwed in, getting ready. Start a running conduit for the power, for the bilge, the um, anchor, the speaker on the other side, just to protect everything, look a bit nicer. So yeah, uh, this is what we're running, these latches here. Uh, very strong, waterproof, you can stand on them. Because the last video you guys seen on this was when I was painting. So we've got the windows in, all sealed up. Actually come up pretty nice, so I'm stoked on it. And yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna set the camera down here and there and try record. Um, other than that, everything's been going good. Thank you guys so much for the support. Just a little bit of tweaking and here we go in. So I'll try to cut that a bit more and uh, that, that job's ready. So then after that, might silicon that uh those cushions in and then um start marking out the back at least get the holes marked out and we'll see if i've got time we'll get them drilled out then i can at least hang the pod for now just to see what it looks like so oh, i'm so excited but the build's coming along guys so hope you guys do enjoy these videos let me know what you think of the build and how it's turning out what i can do to make a few things a bit better but you know just making this boat to how I think I'll be using it. There we go. And then they get screwed from the top. I'm gonna run some silicon in it, in it as well. And um, that goes on after the carpet. All right, so that's how the carpet's gonna be laid. And now, okay, a bit of adjusting going on, but that'll be how it will be. I've now got to cut out these. So, this may be tricky. There you go. 
Yeah, it's a bit rough, but these got a decent sized lip on them. So, that's gonna go like that there. That's not even gonna hold it in, but that looks fantastic. Then we can lock them. And then once that's ready, then I can just put your screws in. And there won't be any water going in there. I'm happy with that. Let's do the next one. Snatch. Go. And they're walkable, you can walk on them. Solid. And then this is the size fuel tank I'm going to use for now, so that fits perfect. Let's see if we can open it. Yep, just fits. But so there you have it. Keep in mind, all this is going to be cleaned up, but they are latches, so you know, storage or anything, just shove it down there. Big ice box or something like that. That's some uh, one of my ideas for the fish. Who knows? It's coming up nicely, though. You know, I've mounted the speakers, and then I'll show you guys the switch panel board. What I've got going on at the moment, so your main switch, fuse box, a few other little bits and pieces, but that's where everything's going to be, and then I'll probably have my battery here, just make it easy straight up. And then this conduit's for the anchor, I run it nicely, this one is for the speaker wire, just keep protected, run it nicely again, and I've got a third one going through the wall, down there, and that's going to go for the bilge. But yeah, it's coming up nicely, it looks, looks real nice. Big boat, all the windows are in. Keep it waterproof, even though I've got this cover up here, but yeah. And one of these I've got going at the back for the motor, and then obviously the other one will be here. So, nice waterproof, kind of look a bit neater. Sucks having a fuel tank and a battery back here, but I didn't end up putting one in the floor, which I probably should have, but uh, oh well. Just figure out a few more jerry cans to take along the big trips anyway. See how much this uh, 115 drinks. That's also the other reason why I haven't gotten a bigger one, because I want to see how much they drink and what I actually need for this, this uh, boat and how fast I can get it going with this little one. So, alright, next job got to press play but I've just run silicon like that doesn't need much and um, yeah so I'll post these down these are a bit rough cut but I can uh, fix that up later on with a bit of black silicon and all that contemplating putting some black angle along here not sure yet just to clean it up make it look nice But I just wanted to get this glued down so my daughter stops lifting it up. Uh, that's about it. That. And this one here. And it's waterproof. That's why I've gone with this as well. Foam, rubber foam. You can have a bit of water on it if you need to. Um, strong, resistant, cheap. It's comfy enough. Yeah, I hope I've got enough silicon.
Nice zigzags. They're not going to get lifted up anyway, so you don't need too much to hold it down. This one here is really not even be able to move, so it's good. Let's, um, let's get this piece in. Say one of a comment in the um, few comments on the other video with the canopy when I was building that. As those of you that watched the paint, the me painting the boat, the other video, you know that I've taken off the canopy as I didn't like it, the weather got to it, and it cost me a bit more money to uh, get it going. So I decided to pour the pin. It's too heavy, I do agree, people were saying, you know, too heavy, this and that, and I don't know, I just didn't see it, but now I see it, I just, you know, didn't turn out too good either. There they have it. Nice. Stuck to that, so that's another job done. Now that that's done. Alright, so, bilge pump. I've gone with the automatic, as I'm, uh, Gonna be doing some overnight stays in this boat for sure. If I leave the boat in the water while I'm camping on the beach, things like that. Automatic, simple, easy. Uh, pretty cheap as well, not bad. So it does come with just the bilge. I think it's bilge itself with a bit of wiring is last time I've seen it. Bit of instructions. So we're gonna test this out. I reckon it's pretty good bilge. Um, and there you have it, so that there's the bilge pump itself, it's a three wire obviously, so you can have it on automatic. Um, and uh, this top thing pops off, somehow. There you go, and that there's the automatic bilge, so when it fills up, pushes that up, and then it will turn on. So, they reckon they're pretty good, stainless, whatnot. So uh, we'll see. So I'm just gonna get that. Silicon somewhere there. I'm just contemplating whether or what way I want the water to spit, if I want it spitting on my side, just in case there is water as I'm driving, or I don't know, anything like that. I guess I'll be on that position more. Or actually I might run it on that side, only because I'm gonna have conduit on this side. So I'm trying to balance out the boat. As I've got one battery in there on that side, I've got another battery that's going on the other side. I'm trying to balance the boat most I can with, um, you know, the most uh, weight calculating in my head. So, well, I don't know, whatever that even means. So it fits in here beautiful. Alright, we'll stick it about there so I still have room to put things in here, plus I can see it. I can, um, Upgrade it, put another one in, who knows? Oh, about there. It's closest to the floor as well, so let's get this with a bit of silicon. Not gonna be shy on this one. Done anyway. Let's see. Oh crappy guys. Alright. So, we're going to pop that about there. And that there will hold once that dries. I'll just put that down like that. It doesn't, doesn't touch this bilge. Cool. Alright, happy with that. Then I can just click that in. Usually, I usually probably should wait, but... Oh, that's not smart. That I've done that. Go this way. There we go. But about there, and then you got the wiring that's on that side, obviously, because that's where the conduits come from, and then you got the water going that way. Alright, there you have it. I can always check up on that. I've got to vacuum all this out anyway. Now it's time to prop up that pod. 
All right, so I have not done this before, but I've done a bit of research or a lot of research um, on and on, even before I had the pod, when I first purchased the boat. So I've got it down, packed it in my head. What you want to do, so you got a rough, rough, um, what's the word? Rough middle, from just the top of your head by looking at it. I know that that's basically the middle. So what I'm going to do is, you want to measure from every corner of you got these you got these divots in the uh, hull for your um, stringers and that. So what you want to do, you want to measure roughly about where the middle is, so about 400 on that angle. Now what you want to do, you want to hold your, keep in mind this is going to kind of take play as you go on. So. Let's stop this tape measure there. Get a texture there. Hold it nicely. You're gonna to go to the top of that and go from just past the middle and then make your way up. Like that. And then if you look in it, you kind of see that the light the middle will be between like in, in the middle of it. Then you put it on the other side. Roughly four, 400 I'm going. Top of that, same position. And then you want to move it up like that. And there you go. So that there is your middle where the X hits. Now you want to do this. Keep in mind where your pod's going to be. You don't want to be putting, unless you're going to paint over it or try to wipe it off, but save you a bit of time. Then I'm going to go from the next stringer, next one over. Do the same, so that will get me about there. And then from there, we want to make a mark. We'll do the same thing. And there you go. And that, by looking at it, looks pretty good. Now what you want to do is get a straight edge. Put a line up from the straight edge. But don't go too up too high, because I know my pod, um, that pod there, going to stop somewhere about here and what you got to do is do the height as well so you got to figure out what leg you got on the motor I'll show you guys as I go usually you're supposed to put that one there first to know how high to make the mark but I'm just going to go from a mark to about here now you have three the reason why you go three is because if all three of them line up pretty good it means it's it's not like too much like that or like that if you got any two and one's out you know you won't really see a difference in that line. So you try, try mark these up for time. If they're only like a couple mil off, it does not matter. That's very close. So that's pretty good. I might be over that. This is the Suzuki 115 old model, very old, but seems to be okay for now. Just got the mains hanging out, etc. Alright, so to measure the leg of this mould, uh, mould, sorry, leg of this engine is, you want to measure from the top of that, the inside, where it sits on, to the bottom of that one. Because you want this to be flush with underneath of the boat. That's how you set up your, your, en uh, your engine. So if I was to have, so the bottom of the boat should be right there, basically. Alright, so I'll measure from here. So what I can do is go from the top of this beam here and get a rough so it's let's go with five. Five. Let's go five fifty-five. Alright. Then you come here. Set you guys down. from here you want to go up 550 from here oh see I've already stuffed up because now you're gonna see those lines hope that comes off oh lucky I've got more paint we want to measure that pot as well because because it's a short leg that's the only thing that I don't like is about it is a short leg so if I was to upgrade I've always got to get that short shorter leg so Oh well. What I'm gonna do, 
measure that pod because I'm hoping the pod can start from here. But I still want this hole here. I don't want to go from the bottom. Pod flipped over. Let's go from the bottom of that to there. It's 500. Cool. So I might just miss it. From there. So 500. It's just touching that hole there. So what I'm going to do is let's doesn't matter if it's a couple mil out from the bottom of that, it'd be okay. So I'm gonna go up, put the hole about 510 from where the hole is. And about there. Be a little bit out, but you can trim it. Five ish. Eleven twenty five, that's good. So you have it. You see I've got a little table here and it falls right on there so that worked out perfect when the bottom of the pod's gonna be. I can lay that on there but because it's on a taper coming upwards like that I can pop something else over here get it to where it's flush on there. Wow that's looking good. All right let's try to give this a go. <laughs> I got you guys there watch me struggle on this heavy thing. Sure. That's perfect, now it just needs up roughly about that high. There we go. And now we can uh, center it, we can move it from here, this side to that side, find the center, move it over, do the same on the bottom. So that's how she's gonna look, so. Looks really nice. I love the look of these pods, man. Starting to look like a proper boat. That's going to look epic. And now, you've got enough room for a plug. And the engine should just fit about there. Then we can trim it up if we need to, etc. Might even be able to mount it a bit lower, we'll see. But, that's pretty good. Love that. That's so good. Side because I'm gonna need it. All right, bolt it up for now. Everything's for now. She's on though. That looks so cool. That looks awesome. I love the look of these pods, man. Such a good looking boat. Getting there slowly. Just those two bolts feel solid. So, not worried about that. And then uh, afterwards, I'm going to be painting it white. I'll just tape it off. That there will paint over again. Some uh, marine paint. Because it's going to be in the water. But I'm happy with that. And then the engine, it's going to stick out all the way out here. Wow. I might have to adjust my trailer or something. There's so much weight at the front at the moment where you need weight at the back. So this would be good. Cool. Alrighty, so there you have it. The pod is on for now at least. I'll try and see if you can see that, but got all the bolts drilled out. And just got the bolts in there for now. There's gonna be more washers on them, obviously, but I've just Double check that all of them running the holes, they're all equal. Um, now just waiting on some of that marine adhesive. When that comes in, then I could pull it back, back off, get some silicon around it, some of that 
marine adhesive whatever you want to call it marine silicon um, other than that it's ready to go so plenty of that to keep it waterproof keep the water from not going inside there and inside those bolt holes and then later on this week i will be res putting resin in that um in every single hole for that to treat that timber that's in there other than that it's pretty good i measured from here to there they're good that side's good underneath's good so it's in the center right where i want it and i'm hope, happy with that the boat is on a bit of a lean on the trailer i've got to adjust the trailer and bring it back up other than that i'm stoked on that so it's going to be the end of the video i reckon and i'll finish it off in the next video thanks that's going to be the end of the video for now uh going to make another video next week when i get a few more supplies to finish off what i've done today other than that i hope you guys like this little short video little update on the 5.7 meter half cab if you do like the channel the video subscribe please guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up like it easy and i'll see you guys in the next video Ciao.